everybody and welcome to my channel welcome back if you've been before and welcome to this week's video um, I hope everybody's fit and well and healthy and keeping safe you know with everything that's going on this coronavirus is very worrying and uh, you know at least doing these models it kind of takes your mind off it a bit anyway um, this week's video is going to be a Dinky Toys Pullmore Car Transporter. That's the old Bedford one again, my favourite models. And um, yeah, that's number 582. And um, before we start, I'd just like to say thank you to all my subscribers, new and old, and thank you for everybody to watch my videos. I'm glad you're enjoying them. I've had a couple of thumbs down, but <laughs> tough. <laughs> you know, I've had a lot, lot of thumbs ups and a lot of nice comments from everybody, so thank you very much for that. So yeah, um, I don't know how long we're going to be able to keep on um, doing these models, because all the shops and everything are all closing down here in Jersey as well. It's uh, starting to take hold, this horrible virus. Um, I've got a fair bit of paint in stock, but I'm starting... I haven't got an awful lot of lacquer. Yeah, I've got some enamel paint and um, you know you can get away without lacquering with enamel paint. That's what I used to do at the start. I, I didn't use the lacquer when I first started doing the models. I used to do it all in enamel. But anyway, uh, enough of all that waffle. So get comfortable, sit back, enjoy the video and see how I got on. Okay, so let's take a closer look. My old favourite again, the Bedford. So this is one I picked up on eBay a couple of years ago, and I've uh, you've probably seen it in the background when I've done some of my other videos. And I thought it's about time I got down to doing it. So this is one of the earlier ones. I think it's got the different colour bottom there. I haven't been able to find the exact right paint I've got this one it's, it's a bit more brown than uh, that but it's not far off so that's more of a sort of a khaki colour but the last one I did like this I, I, I was a little bit off with the colour but it still looked nice you know it was close enough so that's one four rivets I bought me it's not a six rivet one uh, not a bad nick actually uh, oh, all the axles are straight the wheels are straight the, everything's not bad it's just rust um, the lights are not broken so this this one the cab and this is light blue um, dark blue wheels the later one's got dark blue cabs, but this, this is actually one of the light blue cabs. Um, the tailboard, the usual, one of those broken off hinges. Probably stick something on there, but I, when I did my last one, which was a long time, quite a long time ago now, I got two of these replacement white metal parts. They've got to be well cleaned down, so 
sand it down and uh, the edges filed and stuff but they're not bad they're not bad so I'll keep this one I'll keep this one for spare you know something can be done with it um, but yeah so that's, that's not too bad so, and also I bought two or three sets of these decals or decals um, when I did the other one I had got four sets from two different people and the others they weren't nice they they had like the background was was dark it was off color it, it looked shit to be honest and these I got these from a different buyer I think it's a chap that restores stuff himself and um, they're good quality good quality decals and um, I'll probably muck them up when I put them on but anyway <laughs> they they did well on the last model I did so that's that and um, the loading ramp a little bit bent shit paint job on that side what I might do straighten it I might leave the underside because that looks like that's painted on the actual writing it's it's like stamped on it does it's not I don't think it's I don't think it's these decals I might be wrong but maybe I'm wrong I don't know because I've actually I've tried look scraping and it don't come off so what I'm going to do is um, I might leave the underside of it and just paint the top side of it I don't suppose it's a bit um, cheap doing that I suppose but it's nice to have the original the original writing on the bottom okay so that's that one so I guess the next step is to start dismantling okay catch you in a minute right <clears throat> these rivets are not the easiest to drill out so I'm going to try and get I've got this punch that you push down and it kind of goes bling try and make a hole in the center but it's not easy No, oh, that's off centre. That was a cock up. It's not easy to see where you've got it. No, that was clever. More in the centre. I'm going to start it off with a small one, small drill. Yeah. 
good. Yeah. That one's gone. Oh, let's see. That one's gone. Okay, so now you can see where the centers are. I'll have to drill, drill them a little bit. A little bit. With a smaller drill bit. Actually, I wonder if I could get that, prize it over. Prize that over so that I can make sure to get my rivet central and I'll put it back. I might be able to get those old ones out. Do the other side get the side off oh there you go oh that's out we'll do the same with this one hopefully yeah that's it it's popped out one this side oh bump for that gone okay so that's that top bit that's that top bit done free now what I left to do I don't know if I can I don't know if these rivets pull out or not I'm guessing not I'm guessing that I'm going to have to drill those right out, which is not the easiest of things to do. Oops. Oh, that's just broken off. Rather than okay. So I'm going to try and drill those out anyway, I'll have to file those down, file them level and then, then, I'll, um, then I'll try and drill them out with a small drill. Okay, see you in a minute. So yeah, I'll just file these down, level. So. Then I can see exactly where the middle is to drill out. It's not easy to get this on through. Okay, I'll finish, finish filing that and then we'll come back to it when, I, when I've drilled them out. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, I'll file those down. I don't know, it's not easy to see, is it? camera probably doesn't want to focus so I'll have to drill them out okay next step I've got to get this pin out which looks like it's almost dropped out by itself not quite I don't think quite oh gosh I keep knocking the camera no not quite I wonder if I can just keep wiggling it backwards and forwards and it might pull through there that's it there so that's that 
pin out. So now we can take that off. Now what I'll have to do now is to just file that flat so that I can get that washer off and then when we put it back I'll just drill drill how does that work now? It doesn't look like. no I can't remember how I did it I think I, what I did I just filed that enough to get the washer off and then we'll see what's what after that I can't quite remember If it's if it's just a thin pin through, then we'll have to just take enough off that to get the washer off, um, and then just glue the washer back on after. Or if it's thick enough to drill into, then we'll just put a rivet in there. Just glue a rivet in to hold the washer on. Okay, so I'm going to file that down. Pile it down and get that washer off. Yeah. Okay, so here's the old Dremel. Okay, I don't know if I've ground it enough. I'll try it and see. I don't think I have. Mm. Mm. The screwdriver maybe. Oh, yeah, that's off. So that see, that's just a, it's just a little pin that goes through there. So might have to sort something different out for that. So might might have to um I don't think there's enough pin that goes through left of that so I might have to make a new pin a bit longer. Or put a longer rivet or something through. Do it like that. Okay. We'll see. We'll see when the time comes. See I could just glue a rivet in there like I did with the others and and then just stick that bit in there. Just cut it and and stick it in like as a dummy pin. Actually I might do that, that's probably a lot easier. A lot easier than trying to put that back on. Okay, so that's that bit. Right, now down to the getting this off. Oh, wrong screwdriver. Getting the base off. Let's 
straightforward just lift these tabs same as on the dust cart one I did There's always an idea when you're putting that back just bend the tabs over so that they're, they're straight don't push them down inside because if ever you've got to undo it again you can't undo them they, they sort of go curl in underneath and then you've got an awful job and that's when you end up snapping them off that's just something that I found out by my mistakes Okie doke, so that should just pull off now, pull out and then pull it back because there's two little tabs in the base, two little bits that go in, it's not easy but they go in, see these two little tags here go in underneath that axle bit there you can see it it goes in goes over the top it's quite tricky actually that goes over the top but these go underneath and then you push it forward and then it goes in so that, that's how you do that and I've done that and now I can't get it out again <laughs> cowboy eh should have left it out eh, when it came out Oh, what a dipstick. There. Okay, and then that just lifts out. So, don't mix your axles up. One, The front one is shorter than the back one. Okay, so the back one's the longest one. So that's uh, that. Now, to get this front grill off and it's held on these two tabs which are pushed out they push through the hole and then they they're pushed out so usually they snap off when you try and straighten them so here it goes so if they snap off if one side snaps off then it's best to break the other side off as well otherwise and then just glue it back otherwise you can't uh, get it to sit straight you just if one one tab breaks off and not the other sometimes you can just wiggle the screwdriver in there not too hard and then gradually they might they close or pull through see Maybe, but be careful because it's easy to break it. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera. Getting loose. Um, here they come. There you go. See, one one has gone almost straight, and the other one hasn't. So that could possibly end up making it go a bit cockeyed when you put it back on if I can straighten it up a bit I 
not easy if you put the pliers on it's going to end up snapping off you know because it's very tempting to just put the pliers on and pinch them together but that will for sure snap off if you do that Not too bad. Okie doke. So that's basically it dismantled. Um, just the wheels to get off here. Don't know whether to take them right off. I think I might take them off. Um, I'll just grind, grind those off and just slip them off. Okie doke. I'll do that off camera. I'll use my Dremel. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so that's got it all stripped down. Uh, take this tire off. So basically it's all ready to put in the caustic soda. I think it's alright to put in the caustic soda, I'm not too sure. I don't think I'll have to put it in for too long. Um, actually I will probably drill those out before I put it in yeah okay so next step caustic soda right gonna put the hot water in for the caustic soda I decided to put the ramp in just the same. Uh, I'll try and get some uh, transfers uh, decals to put on it. Mm, some nice colours brewing there. That's really frothing up. So I've never had one go like this before. Shit. Weird, 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 very weird. Very most weird. Tell you what, come up clean though. Very good. Right, so the caustic soda's done its job, and uh, I'll just give all this a good wire brushing now. Give it a good polish up, get all the crap off it, and then we'll prime it after that. Okay, 
Catch you in a minute. Right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, polished up, wire brushed, um, all ready for priming. I think another time, if I do another one of these, I won't put this in the caustic soda because it went all black. It's it's very light. It's the alloy metal, and uh, yeah, I've had a heck of a job to clean these bits up because they went, like I say, they went black, and I've had to wire brush and wire wool them, and it's take me all evening to do it. Anyway, that's that's all ready now for priming, so I'm going to get on with that. Just one thing before we start. Um, yours truly has had a birthday since the last video, and uh, my good lady wife gave me this lovely present, um, a spray booth. So I've kind of got it fixed up here inside. And I've got it going into a tub, and there's a bit of water in the bottom. So anything that goes through that pipe, it, try, it sort of, you know, the, the water hopefully will take some of the some of the shit out of it. And I put some sponges and with the holes around for the air to come out all the way around. So it seems to work okay. I've, I've tried it a couple of times, and uh, it seems to be good. So that was a nice, nice surprise from my good lady wife. Okay, so let's get on with the uh, priming.
So that's the primer done on that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, spray, go outside now and spray the, the brown on the on the actual deck there. Okay, so that's it sprayed. So uh, I just put a little bit of masking tape quickly on there before I did it. So I'll take that off and then uh, the next step will be to spray the blue. But I'm not going to do that for a day or so. Um, I'll just leave all that, well I'll, I will lacquer that maybe first, although no I can lacquer the whole lot after. So I'll leave that dry off, harden off properly for 24 hours or so before putting any masking tape on and then I'll spray the blue. Yeah, I've just painted this bit in the brown as well so um, <coughs> that piece will just need lacquering now and the wheels putting back on. Be that bit done. All right, so I'm just going to mask off the top now, and then uh, spray the blue. So I'll um, mask off a bit of this each side. Not easy to do over the camera. Anyway, I'm going to mask this off like this, and then. Uh, I'll, I'll show you when it's done because it's easier for me to do it off camera because I can't I can't see what I'm doing over the camera. There, that's the top all masked up. So uh, I'm gonna go out and put the blue put the blue coat on there now. I've just masked this up. I've put some cling film on and uh, a bit of masking tape across the front there. So I'm just gonna do the front bumper now. Do that black. I'll go out and do that. Okay, so that's pretty much everything done. Uh, painted, lacquered. Just a case of starting to assemble it. I haven't done the Molotov detailing on that bit yet. I'm going to leave it until I've stuck it onto the cab because that Molotov seems to take a long, long time to dry. And even a couple of days after, if you touch it with your fingers, it kind of marks it, so I'll stick that on, then I'll do the detailing on the grill. So, Right, I need to put these wheels back on the axles. Put it that way, because it doesn't... Uh, looks a little bit bent, not bent, but there's some little marks on that side of the wheel. So I'm going to have to be very careful and try and pin these over. So I'll have to do them one at a time, but I need to, I might have to do it off camera because I need to do it on the floor, I think. So I need something, I need a hard, something hard tap onto or you know put that piece of the axle on so I can pin that over with a hammer. This one's a bit tight. That'll make it easier to paint on. I managed to do the other one okay. So just get this one on, put it that way.
so I'll, I'll better peen it a little bit but it won't need much Tap it gently, just in a slight sort of circular motion, anti-clockwise, just around the edges. Just like that, and to try and dome it a little bit. Tiny bit more. Seems to be okay. Right, so with that done, I've just put the tire on the on the uh, you know for the spare wheel. So with that done, um, I need to attach this to this. Now I was going to put a rivet through because I thought I wouldn't be able to get the old pin back, but I've been looking, and if I put the old pin through and that washer on the end and put a little blob of super glue on there to hold the washer it's going to be alright so that's what I'm going to do use the original pin so here we go um, well, I'll have to put that on there like that first and then uh, put, this, put this pin through probably did that in the wrong order and then oh more fingers and half of them tonight yeah I'll put it that way I'll put it the opposite way to what it was before right so what I'm going to do if I can open my super glue now with one hand to use my teeth in. I'll just put a blob of super glue on there. Actually no I won't because the L's blocked. <laughs> Typical. Hang on I'll have to unblock it and we'll have a go in a minute. Okie doke. Nozzle unblocked. Pin's fallen out again. Oh. Could be one of those days or evenings. Right, here goes. Super glue. No, that should do it. Okay, so I'll just leave that a bit to dry. We'll do the next bit. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, whilst that's drying, I'll do start doing this bit.
Now, my memory card is saying it's nearly full. So, here we go again. That's another thing now. Pain in the arse. Pain in the arse. Okie doke. Put a little bit more there, just a little blob each side. No. Should do it. And then I'm going to put the lid on that, otherwise my nozzle will get blocked again and it's not good having a blocked nozzle. Not good at all. Right. Okay, that's front because it's narrow, that shorter axle. Back. screwdriver not too much though just flat not all the way around put it all the way around and you've ever got to undo it again they're jolly hard to lift the tabs up again if you push them down too far as long as it's tight oh. That should do. Okay. <clears throat> so I've, I've done the highlighting on the highlight detailing on the front. And um, I'm going to put this back in, back onto the tractor unit. So, Push it in there, and then uh, push the old pin through. There's a pin, and uh, what I might do, um, because the actual end of it, I didn't realise when I did it. The little end of it snapped off, so um, I don't know if I can pinch it down enough. Don't think so. Now it keeps flying out every time I try. <laughs> what I might do, I'm going to put a blob of glue on there, and then <coughs> that should hold it in. be enough enough to hold it okay so that's that first bit done then I'll have to um, <coughs> put this bit on so to put the old oh, look I've got a bit of paint off it there Touch it up after. Anyway, that bit's going to go on there somehow. Well, 
think what I've done here, yeah, I've pinched that together a bit, so a bit too much. Pretty much in the right place. That's it. Okay, so I'll just find me rivets. Okay, so I've got these rivets. So I'm gonna just they're, they're these dome type like that. So I'm just gonna tap them in. They are supposed to just. Um, when you tap them in, they're supposed to just stay there. You don't need to use any glue for these. Oh, no, look. Oh, this isn't good. These reproduction parts, they don't always fit so well. That's going to be a problem. That is going to be a flipping problem. There's not much I can do about it. pleased about that because the last one I did like this um, the parts were they were spot on this isn't good look there's a lot of play in that it's not good at all I'm not happy about that oh. Hmm. These holes are not lining up now. Ah, oh, there's always something. Always something. Right. No, I'm not at all happy. That's bad. That really is bad. And that can't go in any narrower because that's right in against the the base bit. Oh well, there's not a lot I can do about it. I don't know if I can bend these out a little bit. I don't want to snap them off, that's the trouble. That might hold it in enough for the 
so it doesn't fall out. Okay, so transfers next. Right, now for the old decals or decals. I've um, got my water there. I got these, I got these on eBay. They're not bad, they're, they're, they're nice uh, transfers, those or decals. Um, so, here we go. I'll put just one in at a time. Okay, here it goes. Just trying to see on my other one I did where I got the, where I uh, positioned the transfers, so it's roughly about there. Oh, the little bits are coming off. I can't get them off my finger. Come on, that's it. Not bad. Let's get some paper towel. That's the first one. Now do the one on the other side. Shove her in the old water. Right underneath. It's not bad there.
Okay, that's that one. So just got the one on the back to go now. So I'll chuck that in the old water. Make sure it's all submerged. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to have, and that's probably done. I have to just kind of scrape that outside bit off. I think I'll leave that dry now because it hasn't gone too bad up till now, so I don't want to push my luck. Well, that's it. Job done. Um, I painted the whole lot of the loading ramp in the end. I haven't got any decals for that. I'll have to get some. Um, I thought might have been able to do some on my computer, but I'm not. I'm not very good at doing all that at the moment. So hopefully, I might improve. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's just painted that left to do for now and um, this is the other one I did earlier on. Um, I, I put the ordinary rivets in those that's the one I did a, sort of 18 months two years ago and I did that one in enamel and this one's done in acrylic so there's a pair of them now and also when I had done this one I bought a few boxes reproduction boxes I bought three I think because I've got some of the other the dark blue cab ones as well so I had bought three boxes because I got three three of these models but now I've got four so I need another box I'll see if I can do one myself, but anyway, so that sort of finishes it off. So we'll um, give ourselves a little reminder of what it was like before we started. And um, I'll put her on the old turntable again and you can watch it going round and see it from all angles okay so thank you very much everybody for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and um, until the next video please keep safe look after yourselves and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you in the next video in a week's time hopefully time next week so thanks again for watching and see you later bye for now